right very good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone present here tonight yes a very warm welcome to old passion singapore malaysia global my name is Jeannie tan your host today and old passion was formed in november 2020 run by a group of dedicated host team members we had our first trial webinar on the 23rd of September 2021. And our first public webinar was on the 30th September 2021 under the mentorship of Dr. Bill Williams. We meet on every Thursday. The mission of Old Passion is to ignite passion for humanity, to nurture mindset and leadership for passion and oblast, to form passion groups for good causes. And today, our speaker is none other than Mabel Chan. And she will be sharing about the topic very shortly. So I will call upon her now to share the next segment before she starts speaking. Mabel, please, over to you. Yes, thank you. And as usual, uh, I'm playing Kumaran's uh, signature avatar for the night. Let me put on the link. Well, thank you, Kumaran, for this. Thank you, Mr. Ash Mufara. And uh, we shall be cute. We shall be very cute. So uh, please allow me this time. Uh, I'll take about half an hour to share. And then Julie Wen will come in at 10.30. And uh, we'll take this time for another heart-to-heart -heart sharing. Last week, we touched on this year, 2024, going to be a year, a game changer year. And then we touch on the heart of On Passive is actually the heart of Mr. Ash Mufara, more than just AI. Today, this week, I'm going to touch on a few points. And uh, it's again, Another heart-to-heart -heart sharing from me. I'm going to touch on the mission of On Passive, explaining it, and the mission of All Passion, this very platform. And then I'm going to attempt and encourage all of us to have a one-minute testimony. One-minute testimony. If someone were to ask you, what is On Passive? I want each one of us to be able to describe what on passive is to you in one minute. No longer than that, because sometimes people, you know, a passing by friend who just asks you, what are you recently into? You say on passive, on passive, what it is. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be able to describe on what on passive is to us in one minute. And then what your passion is in one minute. And then what will we be and be doing in three to five years time? So this, especially the one minute and what we will be doing in three to five years time and passion group is what I will open up after my sharing. I will open up for everyone, as many of us, to take one minute, maximum two minutes to share either your one minute passion or what you will be in three to five years time. So let me start. I'm sure I have explained this before, but uh, there may be new founders and friends here. What is on passive? Uh, what is the mission, the goal of on passive? And I would put it this way, not exactly in the words of Mr. Ash Mufara, but it's how I understand it. The first mission of on passive is to gather wealth harvesting wealth because in reality there's more than enough wealth in the world is there is an abundance is how you gather them so mr ash mufara first mission is to be able to gather wealth and this wealth he is attempting to get it from where he specializes it uh, in, and that is it from the in internet. Mm. 
So Mr. Ash Mufara, his first mission is to gather wealth from the internet. Then mission two would be to transfer that wealth to the 1.4 million of us, the founders. So this is actually a wealth transfer. When he gets the wealth, when he's able to gather the wealth from the, his businesses, he will transfer them to us legally, legitimately, you know, and don't worry about that. We have lawyers and compliance to make sure this is a proper wealth transfer. And then the third mission and the real mission of Mr. Ash Mufara is to make the world a better place. But he would like us, you and I, the 1.4 million of us who uh, get the wealth transfer from Mr. Ash Mufara to help make the world a better place. That means we become his extended hands and legs. If I don't get it correctly, I stand corrected one day by Mr. Ash Mufara uh, uh, to explain his terms. But this is how I understand it. So the three mission, the three goals of On Passive makes up the entire mission. Gathering wealth, transferring wealth, and then being the extended hands and legs of Mr. Ash Mufara we make the world a better place. So this is the mission of On Passive. Then, now, we are here tonight on the platform of All Passion. We used to call ourselves Passion, but you know, being in On Passive, everything starts with an O, and I just want to align myself, ourselves, to call All Passion. So what really is the mission of All Passion? All Passion, Singapore, Malaysia, Global. Of course, here we are, we are originating from Singapore, Malaysia. Uh, I know it's a long name for us, but we just want to embrace, we want the whole world to embrace us and us to embrace the whole world. So it's Singapore, Malaysia and Global, just to make sure that we are all in this together. And our mission is really to uh, nurture mindset, and leadership for passion and obless. We believe that everything starts from the mind, how we should be uh, uh, nurturing our mindset to know who we are, what we are getting, and how to respond to the, uh, to, to the gift of Mr. Ash Mufara. So being the whole theme is nurturing mindset and leadership for passion and all bless and we attempt to ignite passion for humanity each one of us within each one of us we have a passion some know it some do not know it it's dormant inside you but this is where we come week after week together igniting each other's passion helping each other to discover uncover our passion. It can be anything, you know, and then gearing towards passion for humanity. And then to form passion groups to help achieve our goals. Passion groups means there are groups, for example, uh, as we come together and know each other's passion, if our passion align we gel with each other. We can have passion groups for food preservation for different na nations and nation nationality and the, uh, the hungry and the poor. We can have clean water, clean drinking water projects, feeding the poor, home for the homeless, uh, passion groups caring for the aged and needy, passion groups for love, for the orphans, hope for the refugees, and then safe heaven, which is one of my passion, a safe heaven, heavens for animals, strays, and the wildlife, and etc. So as we come week after week together, 
we will realize, oh, my passion, I have, I have the same passion with you. And maybe one day, one month, one year, we can come together to have, to form a passion group for uh, our, for our, uh, uh, what do you call, where our heartbeat is. So I have touched on the mission of On Passive and the mission of All Bless. So the mission, uh, the mission of uh, uh, All Passion is to fulfill the mission of On Passive. Now, I am coming to uh, this next point, which is a one-minute testimony. This is interesting. If anybody here uh, has a timekeeper, I will attempt to share my one minute testimony and hope it is within. I have tested it. It is well within the one minute, 30, 60 seconds. So this is a testimony, a one minute testimony to express what on passive is to you. And then another minute to say, uh, ex to, to express your passion. So I'm going to try, okay, my one minute for what on passive is to me somebody on the lift asked me what is on passive uh, what are you doing i say oh i mean on on passive oh what is on passive and this is how i would do start i jo i first joined on passive for financial benefits which most of us do then i realized that we just need to be in it to win it Win what? Financially winning. It is all done for us. Then I got to understand the mission of On Passive. It is more than just financial blessing. It is to help humanity, lift up humanity. And now On Passive is opening up my heart, my mind, my eyes. And now I want to realize what I love to do. And when I have financial time and liberty, I want to fulfill my dreams, my passion. I hope it is one within one minute. Hopefully it's short, sharp, and that's it, you know. And if the conversation continues, that's it. I'm sure I can perfect this, but I'm just doing this for tonight. Uh, now I want to start, talk about a one minute testimony of my passion okay what i love to do my passion so this is slightly longer but i hope it's still within one minute okay my passion when i have time and finance in my hand this is what i want to do when i have time I want to learn more and upgrade myself, nurturing my mindset, personal development, mentally and spiritually. Then when I have money, <clears throat> I want to meet my family's commitment. And when I have more money, I want to bless my relatives. And when I have more, more money, I want to fulfill my passion. My passion is helping the strays, firstly in Singapore, the stray cats and the stray dogs. And when, and when I have more, more money, and we call money apples in on passive, there's one group I want to help, and that is the refugees. I believe this is one group close to my heart, and uh, we will see how we can help the refugees in Singapore, if they are in Malaysia and different parts of the world. And then I come to understand from Vidal Smart that there is a machine called freeze drying machine that can preserve food. So there is one way to help the hungry. I hope it's slightly longer, but I think it is still within one minute. Exceeded, Faith say exceeded. Okay, so now I've, I'm coming to my last point. Looks like uh, I take less than half an hour, maybe. Okay, my last point here is what will we be and what will we be doing 
in three and in five years time. Very interesting. You know, not forgetting this platform is about mindset, preparing us uh, what we can do when the apples come, when Mr. Ash Mufara <laughs> the wealth transfer. So along with what I have said earlier, my passion, you know, so things has to go move along with your passion. In three years time, okay, in three years time, I believe I would have done some personal development, reading and studying to upgrade myself mentally and spiritually. We need to constantly upgrade ourselves. In three years time, or within the three years, with all the things, the positive things that I believe and represent, Mr. Will, Dr. Bill Williams, I want to be like you. I want to be an influencer. Influencer. Influencer, correct pronunciation. So I want to influence, be able to influence people positively. In three to five years time, three years time, with some like-minded friends and affiliates, I believe and I would hope that I would have started a safe heaven for strays in Singapore. And then gradually moving into Malaysia because we are neighbors to do the same thing, a safe heaven for the strays in Malaysia. In three years time, three years is 36 months and everything starts this year, 2024. In three years' time, I hope with a group of affiliates, I want to have a warehouse with a few freeze-drying machines to, pre to collect food, to collect all the surplus excess food left over by restaurants uh, and, and places, and <laughs> freeze them, preserve them, and then send them, send them to places uh, to people who need them. When it comes to passion groups, most likely I will be in the groups of strays and wildlife. I hope I have enough apples to also help the wildlife organizations all over the world. The animals, the wildlife have a special place in my heart. And then another passion group that I'll be in, hopefully God willing, uh, with enough strength and energy for the refugees and feeding the hungry. So this is what I hope in three years' time I would be doing. In five years' time, 60 months later, I hope that whatever I would have been doing the last three years, to be able to duplicate them and sharing the formulas and the strategies so that whatever uh, is good and is happening can go to a wider group, uh, a wider area groups and even to groups of people. It's absolutely no pride in whatever I have articulate, declare. And there is something, <clears throat> life and death comes from the tongue. You declare it, some say the forces, but I believe God will bring it to pass. And it's also reminding ourselves, you know, and in all things, it takes boldness. And I have come to a point, I need to be bold to declare what I love to do. So, you see, uh, brothers and sisters, we are in very, very good time. The rest of the time is yours. I have touched on the mission of On Passive, the mission of oh, Passion. This platform is to fulfill the mission of uh, On Passive. I gave a one-minute testimony about what on passive is to me and what my passion is now. And then uh, in three to five years' time, what I wish to be doing. 
So the platform now is open to all of us, and I would like as many of, of us here to, to take one minute or two minutes either to share your one-minute testimony or to share what you would like to be doing, to be and to be doing in three to five years' time. And of course, if you can touch on passion groups, that would be nice. So uh, uh, we have not that many people John, on the speak, huh? not that many people in the speakers platform. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, about twelve or thirteen of us. You know, the rest are in the attendees platform. So maybe as many of us here can take a minute or two. Uh, just to share any point, you can go on the one minute testimony or you can go on what you would like to be in three to five years time. Uh, I, I see John's hand. Start? Yeah, John. I see John's hand. Brother John? Uh, you are muted. 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 <clears throat> Brother John, you're muted. Still muted. Uh, Can I hear you? I think he's trying to unmute. Oh, he cannot unmute. Can I unmute? I also can. Okay, he's refreshing. Who would like to go? Should we, as usual, ask Dr. Yeah, can Bill you hear me now? Yet? Yeah, 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 I can. Yeah. All right, I, re I refreshed. Yes, <laughs> that's I the key. Refreshed and it worked. Oh, good, because I was going, wait a minute, I'm unmuted. Wait a minute. All right. Refresh so, is the brother of Okanek. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have so many issues with my, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I have a minute, so let me get going. Um, first of all, when I, I uh, came into on passive, uh, I don't know that I had much passion for anything other than my uh, idea was someplace that I could just earn a living and not even, you know, wealth, great wealth or anything like that. Uh, I was seeking somewhere as many places I was already involved with MLMs and affiliate marketing. And, and I just on passive was just another place that I got into. But then I began to understand and pay attention and realize, oh, this is something different. This is something more. This has passion. This has goals beyond just creating wealth or anything like that. So for myself, and Dr. Bill would be aware of this because he's kind of one of the folks that when I discovered my character or my uh my passion name or or my my brand branding if, which would become my brand which is my jjp tin man i discovered my heart and my passion the tin man who had a heart and i won't go into the whole story i may have told it before or but anyway so i started to realize that i'm here for a, a much bigger reason so my passion uh, beyond wealth and creating anything like that was for some goal for humanity. And I discovered early on uh, Dr. Yvonne Mundi and her one global movement. And, uh, and, and then uh, I, I began to follow her and go to her lives. And I was a moderator in her live chats. And she began to refer to me uh, out of the blue one day, she was talking about people that worked in, in her chat room, and she called me Uncle John. And it's a whole story. She has an uncle that she thinks I'm much like and all this. I won't go into that either. However, I began then to really focus and get involved with what her passion is, which be, has become my passion. And that is to, uh, uh, we want to educate youth and in particular, focusing on children and focusing on young girls and also young boys, but with a, a focus perhaps a little more towards the girls because of Dr. Yvonne's own situation in her life and where she came from in Cameroon, what the culture is like and how much they abuse the young women or children. 
girls in their culture. So that's why we focus a little bit on the girls, but we intend to uplift, educate uh, both ch boys and girls and the children of the world, really. So, uh, and I have, have already begun. Uh, I'm not waiting because she's not waiting. She's had her one global movement way before uh, on passive so that she's very active she's got ideas we have uh uh things that we want to do uh now for myself i've become more and more aware and i'm paying a lot of attention to what i will be doing specifically in the future not that i'm doing it yet of course but i am learning i'm paying attention i'm attending uh, a lot of her lives i speak with her personally i am actually the uh managing director of one global movement so that uh, I am uh, very much involved. And so we'll be involved in planning whatever things we are going to do. And then beyond that, uh, three to five years, uh, I don't know that I, I, I even think that much uh, in that way, but in say three years, I would hope that we have engaged and begun to put in place many programs, whatever that might be. And it's way beyond just educating the youth or young girls and young boys. Because for example, Mabel mentioned uh, uh, freeze dried food or, or uh, Vital Smart. Well, he's very much involved in it, uh, with uh, One Global Movement. I want to have him involved with things like what he uh, spoke with us, uh they're here and so uh all of this is what i hope will be we'll begin to put more specific plans whatever they might be uh within three to five years i would hope that we're really affecting in some way various places around the world and for me per uh, specifically of course i'm in new york city here and I, I know there are many things that i will be able to do here with one global movement specifically with our young children girls boys education beyond that uh poverty help them uh homeless all that it's more than just education so i'll stop because i think i'm over a minute uh yep. <laughs> I, I knew it would be tough to, to get a get that all out there in a minute but th this is what i'm all about and this is my passion and i would invite all of uh, us here passion singapore in, in some way you'll be able to maybe you'll help us maybe you'll come and pay attention a little bit to one global movement in the future whenever i just want to throw that out there okay i'm finished thank you okay thank you thank you Ginny. who should we call next thank you yeah uh any hands i don't see any hands yet if maybe not, we Dr. can Bill. <laughs> yes yes we can have our dr bill yeah. Over to you. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to go next after John. That was wonderful, John. <laughs> Any, anybody that can follow John has an easy job because <laughs> he sets people up so well. Uh, yeah, I'm part of One Global Movement, too, and I enjoy seeing the work that they're doing. Uh, you know, one thing I'm glad for is for people to take on challenges. When people own something and they take it on, that's kind of what warmed my heart because all, all throughout the years I've taken on challenges and, and been the one that was a spearhead of many things. And um, as I told Ash when we were in Boston, I'm glad to play in his sandbox. I've kind of gotten to the place where I don't want to be in charge of anything. Mm -hmm. People always try to make me be in charge of everything. I used to volunteer to be in charge of everything. I don't want to do that anymore. And the thing is, it's good to see other people raise their hands, step up and, and take challenges on and be leaders. I've always encouraged people to take on leadership because it's necessary for the new generations to come up and take on the next uh, challenge that comes up. And you can be any age to take on a challenge. You don't have to be young, but there's a time where the old folks get tired and they, they get slowed down and they run out of ideas. They run out of passion. And so it's good that we have new challenges that will stir the old folks to have more challenges. And that's kind of what on passive has done. It's given a lot of us elder people 
because you look around on passive, many of us are old, over the age of 50. And most of us were thinking of retirement. What will we do? And so as I was talking to Ash in Boston, I, I said, you know, it's a great new sandbox. I am passive is, and we get to play with friends. We get to have a place to play. And if you can encompass all that's new in this new sandbox, all the new toys, the AI, the robotics, the machine learning, and then you can throw the blockchain in there. These things are not going to let you get bored or sleep. You're going to be mentally challenged to learn and study and come up with some new way of using these things based on your, your past history and knowledge. And you can adapt to the new things. This is what will keep uh, the older generation excited. So that's, that's one of the things about what I say I'm passive being is not just a financial vehicle, but a mental challenge to keep people sharp, to keep people moving forward. Uh, my, my passion with um, on passion is to uplift those who need income to train people in, in a way that they can self sustained. I'm, I'm not one that's um, dedicated to just giving money away to people who haven't earned it. But I love giving away to people who earned the, the right. So I'm, I'm against entitlements, but I'm for charity. If you know what I mean, it's like when we set up one of our charities, it was we wanted to recognize and do dental makeovers for people who were deserving divas or, or men, devos. If they had done something good in the community, I wanted to give back to them in appreciation for their good heart. And so as I look for people to reward with on passive, I want somebody who's a good citizen who's trying, but just hasn't had the breaks in life. And that will be my passion is to find people and encourage them to take on the life lessons that we've learned. And it's basically teaching people to fish. It's, teaching people to be successful, giving them the tools and say, now it's your turn to run with it. In five years, three to five years, um, I want my family organization set up, the, uh, the financial system and structure set up so that we form a, a foundation that manages itself. Uh, I don't want my family to have to run a business where they have to actually make decisions that will potentially take the business down, ruin the business. You know, you've seen often family fortunes lost because people were overzealous in trying to increase the business. And so they crashed. They made bad investments. They overextended themselves in the real estate market, et cetera, et cetera. So what I want to do is set up foundations that have passive income generating the wealth so that the people in the, in the family, their main job will be to direct the wealth to the right places. Mm. And I want to set up the parameters of the foundation so that there's not the freedom to just waste the money, but it has to be spent in the right way. But I want my, um, my family in charge to be able to dictate where the money goes to the right people. Mm. So that's kind of my goal right now. And uh, if we, if we can set up a uh, training camp situation for people to utilize <clears throat> the on passive tools, that would be the best because then it's self perpetuating. And that's one of the goals I've got is to what Ash wants is for people to be able to utilize the tools to not have to rely on somebody else. And I want to teach people how to do that same thing. Wow. Fantastic. 
I love the the part about the your foundations to direct the wealth, not so much to do the business. Okay, Jeannie, who next? Thank you, thank you, Dr. Bill. Wow. Wow, I'm stealing Dr. your Bill. idea, Dr. Bill. <laughs> yeah, thank you. that's how right, uniting passion. Yes, because yeah. you know, I, I'm I'm cracking my head, you know, what am I going to do when while well, Mabel was talking, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to steal your idea, Dr. Bill, and I'm going to come to you for help. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, Sister Debbie is in. I'm not sure if she's. it's convenient to talk, Sister Debbie. <coughs> oh. That's why I didn't put my camera on. <coughs> oh, you're unwell? Can you speak? <coughs> I'm not feeling too well, but I, I I can talk. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so bundled up. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, for me to follow, to follow, uh, Brother John and Doctor Bill, it's like um, an ant behind an elephant path. <laughs> I started my um journey in on passive was a very low key one, I had no idea what to anticipate, uh, what to expect. It was offered by my daughter's godfather, Dr. John Ajangwin. And uh, he actually was very sick when he called me. He could not even write, say, you must do it and you must do it today. And that was on a Friday. He said, if you do it today, you can come to the founders only meeting on Saturday and the corporate meeting on Monday. I was, I just bought into it and showed up Saturday, showed up Sunday and showed up the corporate meeting on Monday. And Dr. Bill was one of the faces I saw. And uh, there was someone, Dr. Mo uh, Moody, who gave a very nice speech about inspiring people <clears throat> to be in on passage. And, um, I had my, my one minute is I already had an idea. Uh, I had something ongoing at the time. I had a passion. So when I bought into the on passive journey, I knew that my passion was going to be fulfilled if I stayed with on passive. And that was uh, a water project, which I had started for my village. And uh, I had started a non-for-profit for the last couple of years. And I'm still working on it. We have a couple of boreholes running, but not the entire place. And that's what I've done in the interim. But for the next three to five years, my goal is to see that I don't only continue to support that, but I can have other people to come in and help me support and move forward with that project and make it bigger so that it could also expand to other areas. And the additional projects that I have in mind, <clears throat> which is to build community centers where children can go after school to get help with your homework because we do not have any public libraries the way they are in other parts of the world. And of course, I definitely have the plans to support each and everyone who has a passion. Uh, I have promised to support Dr. Benny with her uh, idea of supporting St. Jude children who have cancer and all the others uh, definitely will support uh, Sister Mabel with her stray dogs, uh, dogs and cats because my my daughter has a cat and she is so passionate about it. So I'm listening to all of this and I will definitely go to Dr. Bill for help so he can help inspire <clears throat> some of the young people that I have in my village who are working in my water project right now. So I, I have bought a lot of ideas and um, it's not just to support those that I mentioned, but any other project that comes up and I have the money, definitely, I will be supporting as the request for help comes in and those that I know. I also know that in Southeast Asia, I have a friend who is passionate about supporting them there. I will also continue to support in whatever way we, do, we, we can and uh, also maintaining the culture 
of my village because everything we had it traditionally was rigged and taken to other parts of the world. And if you go there now, they no longer have them. But if you go to the UK, you actually go to the museum. There's a section that is dedicated to that only. Those are all artifacts that we've taken away. And we have a group of people that are working to make sure those things are sent back to their origin. So those are some of the things that I have in mind and hopefully we'll have enough people who can help with the, uh, in the process. But in the meantime, we'll still continue to do what <clears throat> we do with on passive and pray and support in every regard. Thank you very much, Sister Mabel. That was an awesome presentation you had there. Very nice, thank you. Keep, it, keep up doing the right things and you always do. We appreciate thank it. You. Debbie, I'm um, for your water project too, Debbie, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Debbie. Thank you for sharing. That's very encouraging. All right. We have for uh, who else is here? Uh, how about Brother Raj? You want to take your one minute now? <laughs> you to speak? Can you hear us? Yes, sister, I can hear you. Okay. Thank you so minute. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, the galaxy of intellectual. This is Mr. Raj. Oh, my goodness. What a fabulous moment. <laughs> on passive, you talk about what is on passive. I am, I am speechless to say about on passive. On passive is one of the biggest wonders of the planet. It is one of the biggest master's program of the planet. And on pass we are going to be world leader of all digital company and complete. We are a truly ambassador, a representation of representative of all disruptive technology of 21st century. On pass we global voice of the modern 21st century. And this is the power of AI and power of on pass ecosystem, a multiple data center, O domain. O verify and global payment solution. These are going to be main pillars. That is why on passive is going to be a truly architecture of new internet. And we are ready to save the internet. And all 1.4 million founding members are ready to rule over the internet. And on passive is ready to curb and correct the corruption of internet. And on passive is complete lifestyle. On passive is going to be beacon of hope for global humanity. It is a last hope. It is a lightness of internet. And we are lightening the new internet, my dear friends. On passive is completely rocking. On passive is one of the massive, robust, unpatched, unmatchable, unparalleled, part finder, part breaker, and torch bearer of this planet. On passive is going to change. The last region, even the last region of the any planet, my dear friends, on pass is going to be a financial revolution. It is one of the financial why on passive is such a massive system which has huge potential to change not only 1.4 million founding members, but also 8 billion of the faces of the planet, my dear friends. On pass is the region of Infinite smiles in the faces of each and every one. I mean to say, on passive is going to be what? One of the masterpieces and going to rock. And I had some power CEO who created. He's a really son of this motherland of earth. I have seen many CEO all over the world, like Mark Zuckerberg, Mr. Elon Musk, my dear friend. What? The Bill Gates? They are all. Mughal of internet, but who is a real Mughal of internet? Mr. S. Mufara, one of the massive legend, CEO, universal boss of this planet, my dear friends. This is all about on passive. Now, what is my passion? Passion means a burning desire, a sparkness to do something special. I want to serve the global humanity. I am in a great mission to nurturing the mindset growth with on top class pearl of vision, ocean of knowledge, first, second one, I want to do, since I am a lecturer in the institution, so I want to do this, a breakthrough in education, through O Academy, O Enjoy, O Life Skill, O Connect, 
these are going to be game changer and i want to become a harbinger of a great warrior of change i want to become influencer i want to become agent of change in the global humanity my dear friends especially in education and i want to do what and nurturing the mindset growth i want to do in creativity i want to become entrepreneur and i want to do a self improvement in my character because nobody is perfect and we have mm. to develop we have to change and i want to play a bigger role that to build up the society and how they can design our life my dear friends this is first time happening in the world now you can design your life as affiliate as a user also on passive has given us a lot of potential to become you know emperor of great empire and we are going to make super kingdom my dear friends and i want to do i'm very passionate to open a hospital because the basic problem is that people they are crying they are facing huge problem in the sickness you know they are having there lot of diseases are in this planet uh, which are we are searching the solutions just like aids cancer this is very fatal this is very painful situation my dear friends but i want to open the hospital especially in the globe in the global village smart village i want to do work in a smart village so that our poor people they can take top class facility of hospital and a treatment my dear friends in the free manners yes i want to do the work because that is why i have purchased the multiple id 50 id because i want to do a great thing for building the humanity and next one today we are facing global climate change yes this is a bigger change this, this is a, this is an alarming challenge for each and every one but i am determined to promote the global sustained world why because this is demand of power for more plants this is demand of power we have to do carbon credit we have to promote the best habits in our lifestyle my dear friends and last one i want to do a great work in the creating of values to top class moral values ethical and good culture my dear friends and finally last mission i want to say that i want to what i want to change the complete scenario to the great mindset and our warrior character a true mindset my dear friends and ultimately i want to be become the i want to bring the smile in the faces of what still toy and millions of the poor people i want to make them capable come on come on take one idea you can also live the better lifestyle and i want to become harbinger of to make this world a better place this is my mission okay and i want to help the people providing top class pure water this is demand of power yes my dear friends i meant to say i want to focus on how to make the village especially smart village providing all top class facility my dear friends this is a power of internet what we have on passive that is why finally we are rocking and we are ready to rule over the internet thank you so much sister giving me such a wonderful opportunity i had some dr bill williams sir and uh, what a master man and mr john barella sir great uh, great uh, great uh, brainy character and sister devi just put on your passion that was really amazing that's a mind blowing and i want to have some our lovely sister a great uh, maven a prodigious character doc you miss uh, Mabel Chan, sister, you put your all the vision, the vision, and your passion. That was amazing, extraordinary, and mind blowing. Keep rocking, and your uh, <laughs> sister, a great intellectual. You are rocking. You are doing really fabulous, stupendous hosting and anchoring. Thank you so much. I love you all. You all are a great warrior, a champion upon passing. Keep rocking. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Raj. Thank you. Uh, thank you sister. sister Julie in already? Mabel? No, not yet, not yet. Not yet huh? Okay. How about, uh, okay, we have uh, Brother Pierce. Brother Pierce, would you like to say something? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. it, yes. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Mabel, my friend. I'm so excited when you are speaking. Thank you, John Brela. 
and mm -hmm. Dr. Bill. Thank you all. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie, I love your heart. It's very cold. You can see what I'm putting. It's very, very cold here. <laughs> UK and Ireland, there's a lot of things called, I don't know what they call that thing. Uh, it's very dangerous. Uh -huh. anyway. So I'm so excited to be part of you guys regularly. Old Passion, Singapore, Malaysia, Grover. I'm so proud to be here. You guys invite me all the time, but especially my beloved sister, Mabel. Thank you for having me all the time. Thank you, guys. What is passion? What is unpassive? What, what passion do you have? It doesn't matter how many accounts you have. What matter? What passion do you have for humanity? What do you have? If I tell you my story, which I think I've said it before, I was born in Nigeria, in a rural area, eastern part of Nigeria. When I was born, we don't have, in, in, in my town, we don't have hospital. We don't have maternity. Guess what? What we have, we don't have even health center. But what we have, they call it health center. Health center without electricity. Health center without toilet. Health center without generator for power, electricity. Health center with something we call lanta or lamp. So a lot of people are dying. A lot of women are going through hell before they have their baby. People are dying. Our sisters, our wives, our whatever you call it, they have issues of getting a baby because we don't have a equipped hospital. What is my passion? I told myself four years ago I joined, what should I do before I die? To give my community minimum three-star hospital, to build hospital for my community. If I if I God give me ability through a passive to do it, I'll, I'm blessed wherever I am. So my passion is to make my community to have a real hospital, not health center, a hospital with electricity, a hospital with toilet, a hospital with uh, 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 everything you need in hospital. If I I do it for them, I think. I have uh, the passion I have on them, they will love it. So my encouragement to each and every one of us, what is your passion? You have to have passion. If your community doesn't have light, give them electricity. If they don't have road, give them road. If they don't have water, if the children are starving, feed them, accommodate them. You have to take yourself with one passion. If you can do more than one, two, three passion, it's okay. Have something on your mind. The apple is here already. Some people have already withdrawn 25,000 maximum. Some people have withdrawn 1,000. Some people have withdrawn 100, 200, 500. And the big apple is coming. It's on our toes. So you have to create your own passion to know what you do for your community. Not only to have a good house, good cars, buy private jet, do holidays. No, you have to have passion to help others. Because our C God has brought our CEO, a man with humanity, who have come to correct the corruption. They are bringing me and you to be a millionaire, to be a billionaire. How many people are going to make to be a millionaire on your own self? Not to squanderize the unpassive money, but to use it in a godly way. So thank you, Mabel, for everything. Thank you, Dr. B, whenever you speak um, there. Thank you, John, with your new songs. John Berilla, thank you. Thank you, everyone. I don't need to <laughs> names. I'm so excited. When I was on the webinar um, yesterday, I'm so, with a, a 360, OP 360, I'm so excited to hear such, some good news from, um, so, a lot of good news from our CEO, Asmo Ferre, and we know everything is kicking. So we are waiting to hear from um, Julie. We are so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be part of you guys. Thank you so much. God continue to bless us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Pierce. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is Sister Julia? Soon. Huh? Okay. Uh, how about Brother Victor? Brother Victor, are you there? Would you like <clears throat> to say something? Yes. 
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, good everything to everyone <laughs> on on passive uh, old passion Singapore and Malaysia global. I have listened to so many people to this afternoon. It's afternoon for me. Um, John Barilla, Dr. Bill, Debbie, Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> I have listened to Pius and I'm sitting here and I'm saying, well, what can I say? It's all been said. Mm. I found out something about myself when I joined on Passive. I have put little bits into charities over the years, but I found out that I was very selfish. Wow. I found out that I didn't have a heart for humanity that was a global heart. Okay, I was, as I said, I was supporting charities here and there, but I didn't think of, really, I wasn't thinking about my next door neighbor. I wasn't thinking about my immediate community or society. On passive taught me a lesson. Mr. Mafara said, there's more money in the world than we need. It's how to access it. There's more than enough. So now I see <laughs> on passive has taught me how to be, have a global vision. And I believe in geometric progression. If I can influence one person and that person can influence one person and that person can influence one person we will grow geometrically and within that same five-year period that we're looking at we will have had billions of people who are acting and thinking the same way based on the seed that mr mufara has sown because he has sown a seed that is shown us that we can be whatever we wish to be and we can share whatever we have with each other we can be our brother's keeper i believe very much in uh, in education and health because if you have an if you have children who have less privilege, you give them an education, they understand the importance of health. I mean, I'm as in my, in my latter years that I, I really understood the importance of health because I've been walking around thinking that I'm God, that I could do anything and everything, but uh, that doesn't happen. You, you get to that place, Dr. Bill, I see you smiling. You get to that place where you know, I can't get up. I can't do all, all those things. I am not Superman anymore. And I then started to look, I said, this body has been looking after me for 70 plus, 76 years to be exact. It's been looking after me for 76 years. It's now asking me to do my part. So I will need to look after it. And I, I realized that we, health is so important and we should be able to educate our people about health at a much younger age so that they have an understanding how to maintain the, their bodies, to maintain their physical beings um, in, 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 at a much earlier age. And so it won't reach a point where, you know, it's, you, you, you feel that it's wearing out. And so we will probably live longer, but yeah, everybody wants to live. So there's nothing wrong with that living that longer. But it'll be good for them. It'll be good for the generations to come. I see on passive as a well that never runs dry. Mm. So that when you drink from that well, you are able to give others the water and they themselves are able to drill wells within their own localities, within their own immediate surroundings and environment. And their wells do not run dry. So I was speaking to someone yesterday and he was talking about 
what he wants to do. I said, listen, you don't have to start another business. Or you just have to use what on passive money is never going to it's never going to end. It's going to be there when way beyond you and I. And it's a generational wealth. So you learn how to take what is there and give it to someone or groups of people so that they too can be able to draw from that never ending source and teach others how to do the same. And then we will no longer be dependent upon uh, governments, upon politicians, upon religious groups. And I'm very much involved, I'm a believer, but I believe that God has created us to today, he's opened up a window for us and he said, look, the hidden treasures and the, uh, and, and, uh, the, the, the tr secret riches <laughs> that's what that's what he's given us in on passive the hidden treasures and the secret riches we need now to ha ha to dr bill i believe that you can help me out here it's the mindset thing it's actually a changing of the way we think and if we get our thinking right if we get rid of the stinking thinking will be able to do it right because the money is going to chase after each and every one of us i believe that mr mr Mafara said okay um he said if if you have one customer one customer in one of the webinars i can't remember when he said if you have one customer and that within a year that individual should be able to have a crew of some and i think he said something around seventy thousand dollars but you know, if you now multiply that over the millions and millions, and it's you know that it's an ever increasing number, you now you stop thinking about money, and you start thinking about how you can do things that will improve your your, your immediate communities and the society at large and the global society, and I I, I hope that. That is something that each and every one of us will embrace. That is the true heart of um, uh, Mr. Mafara. He doesn't, he, he says, okay, you all need money, you all need money, but my true heart is to uplift humanity, get humanity to that place, to that position, to that where they are able to see that they are able to lift up their neighbors, each one bringing one. And we will all end up in a position of self-sufficiency and love he said love one another and that's how we will end up so i thank you for the opportunity to share my two and tuppence uh, as they say and i hope uh, dr bill you got to yeah you got to take me under your wings and uh, show me how to do it <laughs> thank you god bless you hello mabel Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, Peter, I heard everything. Taking notes too. Wonderful. Fantastic. Mm. 76. Dr. Bill, you are 72. Uh, 70, 73 and counting. 74 in uh, <laughs> three three months. 74, three months. 75 here. 75. Victor is the winner. Uh, age is just a number. That's what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> John 75. Faith is 71. <laughs> Young lady. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to take away all the hard lifting, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, Obviously, the 70s know? are the golden years. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aren't we blessed to have seen it all? Yes, from... exactly. Yeah from the big mobile phone to the small and now to uh wow 
Finn yeah. Slim. He we walked on the moon. The Dr. Benny. Dr. Benny! Come on, Dr. Benny, give us the one minute testimony. One for God and one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dr. Bill. Hello, Dr. Benny. Hi, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to all my queens and kings around the globe. <laughs> Queen Mabel, thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I was just listening on my phone, so I decided to show my face. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I will say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening uh, to all my friends around the globe. Thank you all for coming. Um, what do I want to say? First, I want to thank uh, my father. I don't know that the God that I serve, if you guys serve the same God, but I want to thank him for waking me up this morning, for waking all of us up. I stepped out, he was there, and when I came back in, I didn't know I was coming back home. So he was guiding me. Mm. And uh, he protected each and everyone this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Despite the fact that we have a lot of people who are in the hospital at the moment, but we pray that uh, those who are sick, all the unperceivians who are sick, we pray that uh, they should get well, uh, like Robin, Robin Noble. Uh, we're praying that uh, she should get well. Amen. Uh, Sister Pat, Pat Parent, mm. I know that the Lord is with you. Mm. Please get stronger because Unpassive is here to stay. Unpassive is going to help you. Please get stronger and think of Mr. Ash Mufara you will get better because uh, he is facing challenges. But he says, Mr. Ash says that he, he loves facing challenges because he uh, it makes him to become stronger. I believe all of us, when we face challenges, it makes us to become stronger. We all learn from our mistakes. I want to thank God for sending Mr. Ash to you and I. And I pray that we all of us should pray for him Knowledge and wisdom, I already know that he reads and understands anyway. He's a strong man. We should pray also for the tech brothers and sisters to provide them more energy. They need more energy to continue to prepare for all or to develop our products, right? Solutions so that the customers, since we know that Unpassive is here to stay, so that all the customers, we have 8.1 billion plus so they can come and purchase our product. The reason, because um, I believe that the, the, the price will be reasonable for each and everyone. Mr. Ash knows his business. He knows what to do. And I know that a lot of people will come here. Now, when it comes to my own passion, you guys know that I love children. Um, mm. But... Especially, I love the girls. Despite the fact that I have a son and a daughter, I still love my son. You guys notice that there are a lot of younger girls in Africa or other different countries that their parents will not even want to send the girls to school. Uh, they prefer to send the boys, not the girls. So I, I, I hope the whole world is listening to me. I need mm. you guys to send your girls to school because I know that girls, they love their dads. Well, that's psychology, right? And I need all the dads to know that not all the children are unique. So send them to school, try them and send them to school and see what will happen. I'm talking about the girls. So if you guys don't do it with the opportunity that we have here with our passive, Bless upon this, oh bless. Uh, I, I can still use my own money to help my girls, our girls, not only in Cameroon. First of all, I have to start by taking care of my own children because Mr. Ash Mufare says, take care of you, your family, 
before you can take care of each and everyone all over the globe when you now have the money, right? Our young girls, they are suffering. Our underprivileged children, they need help. I think we should start thinking about these children. The children are our future. They are our generation. You and I, we are going to be leaving the world, right? It is time for us to think about these children. They are very important to all of us. They are your grandkids. When you look at Dr. Bill Williams, at his age, you know, he looks so fresh. Do you know why? Because of what he has done? No, no, no. He has done a lot. And the Lord is with him. Amen. Africa. Look, I always talk about Africa. Because a lot of people don't give a damn about our Africans. They just laugh or they play games, taking money and say that, oh, our people are sick. They need help. But they don't even utilize the money for our children in Africa. They play games, especially the church. I am saying it. I don't care. Let them come and see me. I'm talking about the pastors. Nonsense. But Dr. Bill, because of the way you are, the love that you the love for humanity that you have within our African community, mm. the Lord will continue to keep you stronger so you can go mm. back there and help our people, not only Amen. Africans anyway, but everyone. I know you will do it. Dr. Bill, may the Lord be with you. May the Lord guide you. May the Lord protect you and your entire family, you and your beautiful wife. God is going to give you more strength to go back to Africa and help our people. But I will follow you. Huh? Call me. When I start receiving the money, I'll be ready. But I just pray for God to protect all of us. Let us go and help these children in Africa. Not only in Africa, we can also go to Singapore, right? My Amen. No, no, for real. No, no, no. I'm ready. So long as the Lord give me the strength. Oh, yes, I will come. I hope you guys will give me food to eat. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much Hallelujah. for giving me this opportunity. You, I love each and every one. We are all children. Our father created all of us in his image. So God want you and I to work together, especially our CEO. If you guys are willing to work together, no discrimination in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Thank you. Benny. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Benny. I see Amma. Sister Mabel. Yeah, Kumaran. Sister Jeannie, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, oh hey. Hi. Yeah. Welcome back. Where are you? Okay, over to you tomorrow. Show yourself. Yeah, wow. Am I nice. uh, visible? Uh, yeah. Visible, audible. Uh. Please, <laughs> okay, uh, just now, just now, uh, Sister Queen De uh, Dr. Benny, she was praying for uh, prayers, right? But I went there, up there, I told the Lord. I now it's ten o'clock already. Ten thirty, Julian Julie is going to come, so I have to leave now. <laughs> so I need a, I I need an excuse. You, I with the family now. I cannot leave them and go. So you give me, you must give me a reason, so that I can go down. So what happened? One of the devotees said, "Can you carry this thing down?" Because uh, so I just waiting for the excuse. I carry the thing. I told them I'm going down. <laughs> so quickly, quickly, two seven two steps just clear uh, came down, and I'm in the car now for Julie to have come. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the God, the God just bless me. You go and continue your pray. No need to pray. <laughs> okay, okay. Wonderful. So let, 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 let me close my video. <laughs> Thank you, Kumaran. <laughs> okay, I I see um Queen Amal, Sister Amal, Amal Fatia. 
Sister Amal, Fatia, are you there? It's not there. <laughs> Yogi Swari, if she's around. Oh, yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. Sister, yeah. Sister Yogi Swari, would you like to share? Not there. Not there. Okay, I see Brother Divya. Brother Divya. Divya, cool. Brother oh. Divya, are you there? We just lost him, I think. Lost him, huh? Just... Yeah. Ah, we have a new friend. Manendra Singh. Manendra Singh. Are you there? I think we are just left with a couple of minutes or two or three. And uh, I think we should, we should call Jeannie, you know. We should call Jeannie <laughs> and Faith to each give us a minute testimony. <laughs> Connor, you, Connor, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, anytime uh, Julie will be coming in now. Uh, yeah. So... So, Jeannie. Okay, let me share my part. Uh, just like uh, a few of us here as well, when I first joined on Passive, I really didn't know what it was all about. I only know about Oblast, that there's a portion of Oblast, and, and that's why I joined. So, after I joined, uh, I also didn't pay much attention to what's going on. Until one day when Sister Mabel called me and said, hey, I need your help. Come, 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 help me. <laughs> you know, and then that's when uh, I came on board with uh, Sister mm. Mabel and Sister Faith and the rest of the team. And uh, we started this Thursday meeting and, and it continued. And as I go along, I move along with, with the meeting, I get to know more and more about On Passive. And that's what got me started. And uh, yeah, and, and the passion, of course, as I move along, the passion has been in me before I joined on passive. That mm. is uh, to help the poor. I, I really, really have a heart for the poor and for the orphans. Uh, and uh, I have been doing that for the last maybe 20 years or so with my husband. We have been supporting uh, uh, a group of, uh, I would say, um, no, I won't say a group. I, I was working together with a pastor from India and uh, we have been working, we have been supporting what he's doing and he is actually a medical doctor as well, Dr. Bill. And uh, he, he builds orphanages, like he takes care of like maybe more than a hundred orphanages in India. And uh, he also built a, a hospital uh, to take care of uh, and to, to give the poor free medical. Uh, and he has been doing that for the last maybe 30, 40 years. But I've, I, we knew him for about 20 over years. So we have been working together with him. Financially, uh, I mean, um, they need funds because of, of the massive work that he's doing out there. Uh, and he also uh, takes care of the widows in India. And these widows in India, somehow, I, I'm not sure, but I heard that the culture in India is that the, the widows are not treated very well in India because they are, once the husband pass on and they become a widow, somehow they become like a curse to the family or something like that. I, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, those who are here, you know, can enlighten me, but I'm not sure, the, those from India. And uh, so that, that was where my heart is. And, uh, that, and we have been working together with this pastor for a long, long time. But of course, now that with On Passive, uh, my heart gets bigger and I really want to do more. 
uh, for not just India and if I can expand to other other countries as well, I would love to do that uh, when the apples come. Uh, and uh, of course, um, I would also like to help to educate uh, the people there, especially um, this, this pastor also uh, have uh, centers, you know, to train those widows uh, and women uh, with children to, to feed themselves. So they, he, he started these uh, centers and he brings in teachers and all that to teach them uh, to, to learn how to make handicraft, to sew, you know, and to do many, many other things so that they can support themselves. So it's good because this is what I like. I prefer people to, like what Dr. Bill says, is the same. I would like them to teach them how to feed themselves instead of just giving them a fish. Because you give them a fish, they eat for one day and they forget already. But if you teach them how to fish, then they are able to feed themselves for lives. And they can even teach others to feed their family and others, you know, and it moves on. So this is my heart. And uh, yeah, this is my one minute share. So thank you. And I would like to continue doing that. Yes. So over to you, Faith. <laughs> wow. Faith, maybe uh, as we let, uh, we welcome Julie. She's in. Thank oh, God. Julie. Yeah, welcome. But maybe let's her, let her warm up a minute. You, you Can you tell us? What's your passion, uh, Faith? What you would like to do with your apples? Let me open my mic. Hello. Good evening again, everybody. This is Faith. Can you all hear me? Yes, yes. Right. I have shut my hand. Thank you, everyone for being so faithful to old passion, Singapore, Malaysia, global. And most of all, thank you everyone for being so patient with On Passive. We know we are in for the long haul and we thank God it's all going to happen very soon. Everything that every one of us have been waiting for from what I understand and what I hear in the webinars that's been on going, it's just round the corner. It can even be as early as end of the month when we will see our apples. So for some of us who have been waiting patiently, be relieved and know that Things are really quickening up and it's going to happen very soon. We want, I want to thank at this time, thank Mr. Ash for all that he's done for us, for all that he is going to do for us. This is really just the beginning for him. I see that in the days and the years ahead, we are going to be even bigger than we can ever, ever imagine. You know, when I first came in, when Mabel first brought me in and we got to know Dr. Bill, uh, we were excited. And uh, to be honest, we were very excited. But after some time, because uh, it's been about three years for us now, it was a bit trying, but now the excitement is coming back again and we want to also at this point in time thank again everyone who have been so faithful even the timing that you have and our timing is so different we are like 12 13 hours uh, ahead of you guys but you have been faithfully coming to support us people like john barilla brother john thank you so much for your support Dr. Bill, you are always there for us. We thank you. Debbie, thank you all these months and years where you have introduced so many brilliant and wonderful speakers to spur us on. Dr. Benny, without you, who would thank God for us? 
thank you. The Lord knows that you are precious and you will always be precious to him and even more precious to us. Raj, even though uh, we've only got to know you recently, but you have been an asset to us too. Thank you for the wonderful notes that you have written and given to us. I have been feeding on those notes. Sometimes I skip the webinar, but your notes truly help me through. Thank you. And yeah, one minute is up. <laughs> At first, she tells me, come on, speak, speak, speak. Now she tells me, stop, stop, stop. So I shall stop here. Thank you again. God bless every one of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, you, hi. Hi, hey, sister Julie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Bill, John, Dr. Benny, Debbie, uh, Dam Damoda, Damoda, um, Raj, yeah, Mr. Raj. Jeannie, Raj, Faith, everybody. Hi. Well. <laughs> yes. Hello, sister. Good evening. This is Raj, Mr. Raj Damodar. Okay. Most Hi, welcome, sir. sister. I feel so proud. The highlight proud is here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody is a highlight. <laughs> now, <laughs> it jumped from 20 plus to 32. <laughs> oh, well. Hello, Julie. Hello. How are you, Pius? Hello, Dr. Benny. Thank you. How are you? Okay. Good to see everyone. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Passion. I heard yeah, that. <laughs> we, we were just, uh, I know you're going to share with us about ecosystem, you know, and uh, we just talk about the mission of One Passive, the mission mm -hmm. of All Passion. And then it's just mainly to fulfill the mission of on passion, of of uh, uh, on passive, and then we just give uh, everyone practically try to give a one minute testimony of what on passive is to us, and a one minute testimony about our passion, and then Beautiful. some try to elaborate uh, what we would be and what we will be doing in three to five years time. Right. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, I know. It's amazing how Unpassive can give us that that power, that um inside where we can think as far as uh, as our brain is allowed, right? Mm. <laughs> as our brain can reach. Yeah. I love what you said the other day, you know, with uh, Michael Williams, that we're living in mm -hmm. the Unpassive ecosystem. We're, you know, it's all surrounding us and how it means so much to us you know, right. and how it will change our lives. No, not so much only change the world, but change our very own lives. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So is that okay if I share a little bit of what I have? I shared this one time in Oran. If you're there, I'll, I'll, um, if you missed that, um, I add a little bit more into. So, is it a good time to share, or we still? Yes, on? yes, it's all is yours it? now. The platform. Oh, We're all okay. here for you. Uh -oh, yes. The pressure, the Amen. pressure Amen. is on. <laughs> John is like this. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. How are you doing? Are you staying well and warm over there, John? New York is tough part of the country. <laughs> <laughs> John, you're muted. Yeah, okay. Uh, am I all right? Am I, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah. John, I'm fine. I did have some uh, health issues, and I recently had a surgery on my nose for carcinoma. But uh, I'm like very. I'm recuperating. My wound is almost completely healed, and I'm I'm doing great right now. I'm feeling pretty good, and things are going well. Pretty awesome. It's good to hear your voice, John, and always good to see Dr. Bill here. And everyone, all my sisters, and then Kumaran, is, is he here? I know he is. He probably yes, he is. <laughs> he, he just shaved his head. He's all bald. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, oh, uh, show us. 
Show us. <laughs> Show us. <laughs> it's a today is a, one of the Indian uh, spiritual festivals. <laughs> so ah. uh, yeah, Thai Pusam, is it? Yeah. So he shaved Hi, his Julie. head. Hello, Kumaran. Looking good, my friend. <laughs> my my name is Steve Harley. Steve <laughs> Harvey. Yes. <laughs> you do. You have the resemblance. <laughs> Hello, welcome, John. John Mark from France. Good to have you here with us. All right, so if I may um, share this with you, um, let's see. You speaking French? You? Um, no, no. Um, je parle français <laughs> un peu. <laughs> no English. <laughs> All right, let me see. Bye bye. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay, let me see this really quick, everyone. One second, because I'm using my presentation from another um, application. And so, please give me one second. Let's pause that. And this is something that. Um, you know, I believe all of us already know, right? Uh, what I am sharing, what I'm sharing with you here, you already experiencing it. But sometime I believe, you know, we, okay. I think this is, can you see this everyone? Yes, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Is that big enough? If you like to see it um, bigger, I I believe you must. We we enlarge ourselves. I think. Yeah, yeah. There there is a maximize button that we all could um, take a look. Is that good? Good. Yep. All right. Ready yep. to go. So, everyone, yesterday, this is really to emphasize what our CEO, Mr. Ashmo Farah, said yesterday about the vision. Okay. Um, on passive um, created was based on the vision of Mr. Ash Mufara wanted to create a place, you know, everything from scratch so that everything that's been created is organic, is um, centralized, is ethical, and is simplified so that, so that everyone can have access to it and everyone and everything that is created is in one place. Okay. And it's also a place where um, we're giving everyone a chance to have a fair share. And also it is a place that all of us, anybody who are already involved, who are in it, have a chance to afford it. And also it's a place where everyone can maximize their potential. Everyone can be the best version of themselves. And it is a place where only with a single sign on, everyone get access to what Unpassive is offering. And because of that vision that Mr. Ash Mufara has, and because of the cause of that reason, all of these I've listed here is a just cause that our CEO and everyone that he brought on board would do it or die attitude, okay? And that's why he communicated every single day. They have been working furiously to bring their visions into reality so that millions and soon to be billions of people will have a chance to change their life. And thank God we were invited some by someone, someone share that vision of what they know at the time that they share and invite us to be part of this amazing company. And so to thank for, we thank the people that share this with us. And also a lot of people that currently at this time may not be 
part of this may not plug in at this time. I do believe if we could communicate that vision to the people that we invite, a hundred percent, they will join you on on this journey together. And so, what I did was, I took the information that I know. I know this is a little bit um, small, but I'm very sure that you already know what is in this next graph that I'm sharing this with you. Okay, so we all know that on passive was created and there are so many things that it's going on in on passive first of all it is very important that any kind of business from the opening point there has to be a infrastructure in place you know on passive has we do have physical offices locations that now we do know in United States, in India, in um, United Arab Emirates, specifically in Dubai, and we have offices in office in Singapore, and we also know um, office in Egypt as well. And we all know this information; it's in our website. And if I could remind you, there are still many more physical location around the world that we may not know of. And if we are going back to what Mr. Ash Mufara said years ago, that the goal is to have no more than 1,000 offices around the world, okay? And then the next thing, the next column that you're seeing is basically event. Unpassive has participate and sponsor in many events, particularly 100 events, in 2023 and some event we don't even know but on passive was either sponsor participate or organize those events and then also if we are looking at all these events and one thing that we need to um, remind ourselves and take a note of ourselves for ourselves is that within these events there are thousands of people, okay? There's thousands of people participate in these events and not just any ordinary people. The people that participate in these events are influencers, a high ranking business or government in other country as well. If we really pay attention and looking at the social media, what O Media is doing, and the influence that on passive has in everywhere that on passive goes. Okay. And then the third column, as you can see, as we are going through event, the relationships of the people that um, they had before they joined on passive and the relationship that on passive is currently doing right now that form into partnerships, into sponsorship and also into other relationship that is going to grow tremendously in Unpassive. As we know, we've been, uh, um, you know, participating and sponsor in World Cup. We are partnering with Dubai Police, Best Moment um, Events, uh, Super Car Modulus. All of these organizations, like I said, have bring in so many people, the influencers, you know, in these, these events, in these partnerships have bring in thousands and millions of people. And that's why we know the other day when Mr. Ash Mufara said, we have about, what, over 3 million users? That's insane. I don't believe any company on in the at the beginning of a starting point until now, which is five years, have brought on that so many people, okay? And then obviously we all know that on passive are creating important products, products that everyone in the world are looking for. Individuals, bis businesses on passive. This is the main, this is the pillar, I believe, is an on passive. It's a way to offering 
um, product to everyone so that they have a chance to reinvent the business models. And it's also help them to building that loyal relationship between business owner and customer. And this is not only made for business owner, it is made for individuals as well. On passive, help to enable that total values. It, it's like a game changer in artificial intelligence and machine learning that is developing to bring the internet solutions to many people the, of the world. And also all these products that are easy to use is adaptable and it's scalable. These products help the users to connect to the world instantly. Some of these products are completely free for life like Omail, Onet, Otrim. We all know what Omail is, an email platform. Onet is a revolutionary um, social media. Otrim is a shortener, you know, URL shortener. And also using Otrim also help branding your own name as well. And we all know that we have pay product like OConnect, OTracker, everyone who's looking forward to get to know more about the product is not only looking at our website, but is actually living in it, is actually touching it, feeling it, and know how these product is being built. What we are seeing right now in our ecosystem is the version that I believe it's still in the testing phase. And so we will see glitches. We will see certain things. And, and there are some challenges for some of us not being able to get to some of those um, product is because we are on that testing phase. And the new version is coming out, especially OConnect, as is stated yesterday in our um, meeting as well. So everyone, some of these products are subscriptions with very affordable price, right? But then the person who subscribed to this product will, will receive the most valuable products. And that's what on passive it's setting is to offer something that above value, okay? These product can also be standalone product. If you're coming in and if you use just one product, it's okay. You can use just one product or you can use it interchangeably. And I also coined this word when Mr. Ash saying, you know, what is on passive? What is one word that you can call on passive? And I said, on passive is interconnected interconnectedness, right? I'm having a hard time to say that word, but it is so interconnected with everything around. So you see, Unpassive has accomplished so much in the past five years and have spent mounds and mounds and mounds of money to be able to build something that is called Unpassive Ecosystem. As you can see, and where we are today, as the user, as a subscriber of OnPassive, all have been done for us. So you and I can enjoy these product, enjoy these events, enjoy making relationship with other people around the world. But did we need to hire technology um, technical team? Do we need to plan? Do we need to um associate and has to have headache dealing with the government, the, the rules and the regulator around the world? Uh, do we need to spend money on millions and millions of dollars to create or advertising about on passive? Do we do all of that? No, we didn't. The only thing that you and I have done so far is to either join free for new users or for the early bird, we spend a very minimal amount of money to be part of this, right? So do we have the right to complain? I don't know. I don't know. If I spend that much, I'll sit and listen and trust and know what on passive is and what on passive is giving to us. Although, it all done for us. We are on a very early stage 
of building on passive as a startup company. Therefore, they're still glitches. There's still certain things. And a lot of those, we call it, I don't, I don't like the word glitches, but we call it iron out. You know, we need to iron things out. Those are the things that giving our company on passive an opportunity to go through, to detect any bugs, any errors, anything that is happening. It's our contribution to on passive is for us to using our product, giving the inputs, you know, letting us know, oh, I use this, but this happened, right? It, with an attitude of, I'm so glad I'm here and I'm here to help and to contribute whatever I can, okay? Well, if I may say, well, why on passive does what it does? As I have mentioned in a very um, first slide, that on passive does it so you and I can have an opportunity to be the very best version of us. That's it. That's what on passive want us to do. Well, let's go back to the business side of it is because we are involved in something that Michael William called the last business of our life. So let's focus on that really quick. Um, on passive is leading by lots of brilliant mind, um, starting with Mr. Ash Mufara and the golden heart of his and all the people that he brought on to build this something called on passive ecosystem where we could enjoy that harmonious love through what? How do we enter into our unpassive ecosystem? As we all know, there is a registration um, fee that if you are not, if you are here and you only heard about unpassive for the very first time, you can get to any of these um, of my friend here to get a link so that you can register. But did you know that because of on passive has so many ways, and our CEO always said, there are many ways to roam. Also, the same thing to my understanding is there are many way for you and I, for everybody around the world to enter into on passive ecosystem. Okay, as of right now, we do have a link that we share with other people, but also in our ecosystem, we have products, we have a wallet, and soon we'll have our own domain name that we can share. So the registration link is not the only way for us to get through into our ecosystem. Soon. There are so many ways. Imagine if you were to use one of the product that I showed you earlier and you shared it to an individual that you know, they cannot use a product until they register in to get the login. And then soon later, there will be domain names and soon everyone who joining in on passive has their own identity. And it is so very important. So then that's the reason why myself, many people around the world, encouraging people to share on passive ecosystem through the registration link or having, you know, um, meetings just to enjoy people, um, you know, just inviting people to join you in your own ecosystem. There's so many ways. So um, this is a very short version describing our unpassive ecosystem. So I wanted to um, go on to the next slide. The next slide is what I put together because I call it, I had an, a moment, of, an, an epiphany moment uh, literally while I was washing dishes. So you see, when you are in on passive, you are literally living on passive. You think it, you eat, <laughs> wow, you do, you sleep with it. You do everything to, 
and and on passive is always in your mind. You yourself, um, literally meshed in with what is going on in the on passive. So then, when I had the moment of epiphany, I came right onto my computer and I drew this this little weird image that you know um, that you see. And this is something where I thought, oh my gosh, right? And I say this, on passive is creating something that is humongous, that all the users can join in with single sign on. They have directly access to unpassive ecosystem. As you've heard on our previous, uh, previous slide, that unpassive ecosystem is a treasure chest Everything that they are doing here, driving what? Driving the traffic into on passive ecosystem. And that traffic is on passive. That traffic, do you remember what Mr. Ash Mufara said a long time ago? On passive will be the traffic, on passive will be the internet. And imagine this, if you know a company out there somewhere, even Apple, even big company like Amazon, even big company that has products. If you could recall um, in 2022, when Mr. Ashmafar show up in one of the California event that I organized, and he said to one of the individual who had a question with him, um, what he said is, whatever you want to sell, you can sell your heart out. You can sell it in on passive. Why? Because on passive ecosystem, no one can go in except billions and people, billions of people. And on passive ecosystem is the source of traffic. Imagine Dr. Bill has a book, okay? Oh, he has many. But I'm just saying, and he doesn't know about on passive. I would come to Dr. Bill and say, Dr. Bill, we have millions and billions of people in our ecosystem. Why don't you join us? Come in and join us. Make yourself known in ONET, in our social media. At that point, Dr. Bill register through one of my links since I talked to Dr. Bill. And remember, Dr. Bill doesn't know anything about on passive, right? I invite him, him in. He goes on to ONET and um, start connecting with friends. Do you feel when I introduce that to Dr. Bill, he connecting with friends, we just literally indirectly putting people in front of Dr. Bill's book. Did it cost Dr. Bill anything? No. But in ONET, Dr. Bill will have the traffic of whatever is there, the, or, the organic traffic, whatever is there. But if Dr. Bill would like specific type of people who read his book, for example, if his book was about dentistry, right? He wanted to target it to those dentists. He could. At that time, direct or purchase traffic. Now, this portion that I'm saying, it's only based on what I took from Mr. Ashmofar said. It has not been traffic. It's not available to purchase yet in our ecosystem. But I would like to do that to actually having your mind to know that if you are interested in that, remember Catmo? You have a complete digital on solution, automatically driving targeted traffic to whatever you need to do. So at that time, Dr. Bill could literally say, no, I am only one, you know, dentist to look at my book, right? Then Dr. Bill could go and explore this entire ecosystem. And then uh, Dr. Bill can say, hey, 
on passive, I want you to direct traffic to my book, only the people that I want to do. And I believe through O Tracker, through other stores, other products of on passive, you can literally bring the targeted traffic to whatever you want to sell. Now, um, is Dr. Bill happy at that time? Absolutely. Because you know what? In the outside world, in the other um, ecosystem that we're currently doing right now, Dr. Bill has to go after the influencers, interview them, has to, you know, publishers have to do all that extra. And it would cost Dr. Bill thousands of dollars to be able to do that. But at this point, all he is, is being in on passive ecosystem. He either using the organic traffic that's already in there or direct traffic to his book. And how much does it cost him? How many times does it cost him? I believe at that time, whatever he is spending for this traffic to drive to him, it's only a very minimal, small portion of what he compared to what he's spent in the outside, in the other ecosystem that we're living in. So what I'm sharing this with you and what the moment when I had that epiphany, now I am keep using that epiphany and connecting all the dots. And it gives me the power to actually understand more of the vision, the post purpose behind on passive. And it helped me to be able to say, hey, I can go talk to these people. A, a business down street from my house, they're struggling, right? But I can actually give them a chance to have that individual, that business owner to focus on his or her passion. And they have the ability to share that passion to the world and have a chance to make more money than what he or she is currently experiencing. And that's why sharing on passive free for free for other people. And it doesn't cost us anything. Do we need to make a presentation like I'm doing here with you and you know, talk about technology and talk about things that we don't even understand. It doesn't take that much to share and pass it to other people. And that's why you can see there's time I am excited about it. I'm emotional about it because I can't do this on my own. And I believe that all of us here cannot do what on passive do on our own. And so the emotion that you see from myself, from everybody around the world, those are real emotion. And those people that have those emotion, they understand. And those emotion and the understand of what we are doing, giving us the power, the ability for all of us to focusing on our own passion. And that's why your team, your, your name, your, um, your group, it's very important. It gives you the opportunity to focusing on your passion. Let's just say that we don't know anyone. You're just a, a lone person, right? But you have a burning passion inside of you. All you got to do is share your passion with a person that you found that has the same passion like yourself. And that is the indirect way for, for us to bring them into our own ecosystem. And we are, when we do that, we contribute our effort to what on passive is doing. And so I think that's 30 minutes. <laughs> Um, I hope it makes sense to, to you and I hope it makes sense to everybody and I hope it help all of us to expanding our thought a little bit, our mind a little bit and know, okay, I've got the neighbor I've got to talk to, I've got this business owner down street because I understand how on passive could help. I couldn't do it. I hope it does 
I hope I brought some values to this conversation. So thank you so much for giving me a chance to do that. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your moment and then your revelation and how effective it is, you know, joining, putting all the dots together with what you have, all the puzzles together as to how, what on passive is, how complete it is and uh, how it is all done for us. Wow. And how we are going to help uh, future users, customers. Wow. This is how we're going to spread good news, helping the community, helping the individuals, businesses, community. Does anyone want to comment? Uh, please feel free to comment uh, how Julie's message is helping us. Or oh, any question that you want to ask her? Yeah. Uh, John, John, put up yeah, his right hand. Right. Yeah, John. Oh, okay, I think my mic's all right. Yeah, there's my mic. Uh, no, I just wanted to say thank you, Julie. We really appreciate you coming today to uh, uh, talk to us and uh, give us a very nice, complete overview. Of yes. We are where we are, what our passive is, what's going on, what we expect. The whole thing was just wonderful. Thank you very much. Just wanted to let you know. Thank you for coming, talking to us today. Thank you, John. Yeah, Julie, I think my book sales just skyrocketed over the last 15 <laughs> minutes. Uh, I think a lot of people are. Uh, are excited to see the diagram because it helps the visual learners to organize their thoughts, their brains wrap around the visual. And some people may have a hard time understanding just the auditory listing of all the things we do. But when you see them laid out, it paints a pretty picture. It paints a clear picture. And uh, what are the moving parts? What are the directions we flow? And so a flow diagram is always valuable. And, and I found them uh, useful in my training for staff members. And I'm, I'm sure there are many people who are in our passive who really haven't grasped the entirety of mm. this whole thing. So uh, a valiant effort. Well done. Glad you're uh, an explainer video maker. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Uh, because I, you know, I, you know, I, um, you know, English is uh, not very, you know, my second language, not strong. So sometimes when you try to share something to people, uh, you're not very organized, and that's the reason why I, I had to do that. I had to sketch it out. I have to be able to um, have a, a bigger picture for people to share. And so I'm glad. To, um, you know, I, mm. I, I, I guess I accomplished my goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very, very much so. And, and Julie, that was what, what our passive calls above market value. Uh, really was above market <laughs> value. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, 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 I hope that you are, uh, that you put a patent on it and, uh, and you then can uh, allow others to use it uh, because it is a picture that, is so well painted that we would like to share it with others if you would give us permission, permission to do so. Yeah. Um, I still have work on it, so um, it's not 100%. And so um, I'm planning okay. to, um, to, to put more work into it and then mm -hmm. uh, be able to record a, you know, just, just a presentation of it. Um, and, 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 uh, and so... I'm planning to work it in the next few days, so it will be out. And I love to share that mm -hmm. short, you know, maybe not 30 minutes, but at least uh, a version of what um, it's explained here. So, wow. Can't wait for it. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. I also would like to... to um, 
you know, would like to point out a lot of points too that, you know, you might not think about. Um, years ago, Mr. Ash Mofara said that on passive will restored, will restore the financial system. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Years ago, he had said it in one of the meeting and no one mentioned about it, but Milo reminded me a couple of times. So I kept, you know, um, asking questions, uh, you know, kind of dive deep into that point. How do you do that? Because the the financial system, especially in the United States, is a very strong pillar in this country. How could you restore that? You know, like we we are going to disrupt it and we are going to restore it. So then, when you are looking at on passive ecosystem, you're looking at the wallet. Hmm. You're looking at the wallet and more information that Ash is sharing with us, you see that the wallet has its own banking yesterday. He said, we're not there yet, but we are, like he said, done deal, right? Done deal, but not like 100% done, right? There's still a lot of things that needs to be put together. But if we were to think about our wallet, being its own banking, its own processing payment, right? Its own everything. And it is sitting right in on passive data center. That's only one component, everyone. And if you are a business owner, you know, you have to pay how many points to the merchants, the merchant fees that we all have to pay. Lots of money. Some, um, no, don't put me on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see everybody. I don't want to look at myself. <laughs> no, I, it's too early in the morning. Um, so if you were to look at the, um, that wallet and associate what you see in on passive and what it is right now in the current market that we are doing, like for example, Dr. Bill, Let's say if he makes a hundred thousand a month, okay, he has to pay five. Some merchant charge seven percent of that money. So how much is it he gets to keep, and how much is it he has to pay for some dumb bang merchant, right? And so if you were thinking about the power of on passive wallet, mm. you have the flexibility you have a way is it's not now so please don't quote me right now it's not now but it's only the vision what i'm taking what mr ashmofar said and i'm connecting the dot and based on what i understand you know you have the ability to add fun to move fun to do that and then you have a place where you could earn money as well it's very powerful it's very, very powerful. And imagine if some big company, and we're not talking about like Apple, or those are way too much, right? Well, because we're not here to compete or take anybody's business over. But imagine just a, a, a company with few hundreds employees that using on passive wallet, how much would money would save them? How much money would put back in their pocket instead of taking from them. It's mm -hmm. huge. And that is only the wallet. You see? So it's crazy. And it's brilliant. And if we all could remember that he already shared all these recipes to other companies, none of them could do it. That's why he had to do it. He shared that vision. He shared the recipes, the ingredients of what's in there. Nobody could do it because they don't have a heart like the heart of Ash Mufara, right? And so the more we are looking at our own ecosystem, 
And the more we live in it, we see it's very powerful. And I believe when he said we are the correction to the corruption, it's getting close. We can do that. And why we do that? Because of massive amount of people plugging in, coming into on passive ecosystem. Massive. I mean, which company out there on the first few years already have millions subscribers? Remember, if we could uh, communicate correctly, 1.4 millions, not 1.4 million founders, but we can call them 1.4 million either positions or we can call 1.4 million users, right? Because if we have 10 accounts, we are the 10 users, right? And so it's really important if we communicate it correctly. How do you have 1.4 million people? It's not 1.4 million people. When we were in O Founders, it is 1.4 million um, positions. And now all of us are in our ecosystem right and all of us have email um um o mail and o net and all that product if we have a hundred accounts like i said we have a hundred users although we don't use them all but we will because we all want to turn that users into a business when we purchase o connect right so if i could take one more second of your time to say this a lot of us say, oh, I don't need O Connect. I can just need one. I only need to activate one while I have 200 other ones out there. Right? So what we need to think of this is that if I have one position of founders, that is only one toe in the water. We test it, but it's only a position. Right? We have to turn that position into a business by activated. How do we activate? By purchase the product O Connect, right? Now, Mr. Ash Mofara say, we are going to distribute customers to everyone in December, the end of December, 2023. But uh, we're not there yet. Like, we're not ready to do that yet. So we, we extend it into January 2024. And then he came on and he said, well, why do we need to extend it to the, the end of January? Why don't we start on, on the 16th? What he is saying, and this is only my belief, okay? And then my belief, what he is saying is this. I want you, I want to bring customer to your business, but your position, it's not a business. I can't, the rule and regulators won't allow me to give you customer when you just have a position. It's not allowed. It's not what on passive is, right? So what he's saying is activate your business only that's my belief that's how my interpretation is right it might be wrong what he what what it is is that activate your business so i have the right i'm allowed to give you the customer right so to me january 16th has no meanings it's a way to say in order for you to have customer You've got to, or in order for you to belong to a, uh, I don't have a word, a compartment or something that's saying you have the right to receive customer, right? So activate your business. And that's simply what it is, right? So if we could understand a position, it's just a position, it's not a business. We have to activate it. And how to activate it is to purchase O-Connect, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for allowing me to mm -hmm. talk more because I have a lot to share, but this is good <laughs> so far. <laughs>
Wow. Yeah. Think, think about this. Uh, there's 37,000 people asking for a withdrawal of money from the wallet, said Ash. 37,000 between $20 and $25,000. Well, that's a long way from 1.4 million. We know yeah. there's not any money in any of the wallets for most of the people. Most people never brought in somebody else. And if you had five or 10 positions, you probably only brought people in under your first one. Possibly, not everybody, but it stands to reason that most of the accounts are empty, but there's 37,000 at least out there that want money out now. So they've actually brought somebody in so they could get a commission. Mm. I haven't even asked for any money back. So I'm not even in that 37,000. I haven't tried to make a withdrawal, which mm. I should, I guess, before the end of the week if I want anything out the first time. But the thing is, how many of us never put in for a withdrawal? Could be another 100,000 just like that. It never, you know, decided to try to get money out already. So there's a lot of questions about where are we with the numbers, but they're all interesting to study and postulate what could it mean. I, I was most blown away with the $10 uh, million upgrade to $37 million that Ash says is available to put out. Mm -hmm. That was pretty nice. But, and then when he said that that's only 1% of what we really have for you, that was even more exciting. Mm. It's a fun time to be alive. You know, passive, this is the week to be, you know, looking forward to the most. Mm. And we'll um, the point that Dr. Bill saying is this, if we have somebody that we share on passive, and I think Dr. Bill would, would agree with me on this too, and everyone, you know, uh, once we get that money out and we have somebody that in our team that needed some help, you know, and we said, oh, you know, let me help somebody who's needed to activate or let me lend somebody's money needed to activate their account, you know, um, I, I'm sure there's, some of us have a lot of things that we need to take care of, like loans and debts and families and crazy stuff. But, you know, if we can help someone, maybe $100. I mean, here in the U.S., $100. We can go to dinner, right, John? And have a steak and glass of wine and be done with it. You know, but if we can delay that dinner a little bit, right, John and Dr. Bill <laughs> can delay that and say, hey, you know, I'm going to help this gal and girls from another country. That is, did mm -hmm. you know, it's your act of oblast. Yeah. Right? Tomorrow, I won't know the difference between a steak and a glass of wine and a bowl of Cheerios. Yeah, yeah. But when you activate, let's just say that you have a friend in Africa or Papua New Guinea or something that that stuck, that you work with this person for a while and that stuck. Mm. You say, hey, just uh, send me your account. I'll lock in. I'll pay it for you. I mean, it's just a, a suggestion, but that is the way we are doing Oblast. And uh, Mabel and I was talking about Oblast. Um, was it you? <laughs> was it? I talked to so many people, I don't remember who I talked with um, about Oblast. Oblast to me is, um, is a way for, it's not about giving them money. It's about, like I think Dr. Bill had said it before I came in quite late, is giving them a fishing pole and teach them how to fish. Right. So when when we are doing that for one person, we say, hey, you know, what? we've been working for the last couple of years and I know you're strapped with money. Uh, let's do this together. Let me activate because I just pull some money out and maybe if I can help you and we do this things together, you know, I'll help you out. You know, you can give it to, back to me when you have it and, and let's get this rolling. So what we are doing, the act of doing that is oblast each of and every one of us 
created our own Oblast. And I believe Oblast is a place where Oblast is on passive. It's belong to on passive. Whatever the project that's coming out is on passive that's doing what we can see what on passive doing and make it into our own Oblast. And that's, I believe, uh, that's the intention of Oblast is mm. to create that we all can using or being influenced by what on passive does so that we can create our own project, our own nonprofit, you know, and stuff like that. So, oh boy, there's so many way, so many way to, 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 to reach our goal in on passive. So mm -hmm. many ways. Can I do one more thing? This is crazy too, right? Please. Yes. Um, when I work with Michael William, and he talks number, right? Dr. Um, Dr. Benny, give me one second. I'll, I'll see your hand raised. And I didn't understand because I'm not a number person. I'm, I'm fairly good in math, but I'm not a number person, right? So then one day, because I Michael and I talk with each other almost every day. And so, um, and he's fast with numbers. So I'm like, Michael, slow down, right? I, I got to <laughs> understand what you're saying. And, um, and I said, Michael, so let me, based on what you're saying, uh, is it okay if I make an assumption that whatever you want to make, you can make it on passive? He said, yeah, it's a license to print money. I said, okay, that doesn't make sense to me, right? So then I sit down and I write down 30,000 or 50,000, whatever that number is. And I calculate it backward, right? I calculate it backward and I said, okay, if one product making me this much, I'm only based on one product because I only know the price of one product, right? I calculate it back and I said, okay, then I need this amount of customer, right? And I, I need this amount of customer. So then in order for me to achieve this amount of customer, I have to continue to share on passive to other people so that I can get more people in my system, right? So many of us who may say, when on passive money come out, oh, I'm going to go have a good life. That's a wrong thinking. You could have a good life, but remember where that money coming from. It's coming from the customers that are coming in. Therefore, and this is only my opinion, your decision is yours. But because of understood what is going on in that ecosystem, I said, I'm not going to go have a good life in my first year. I'm going to work my behind off. I'm going to work it off. I'm going to work it in a way where... I have the money. I have the ability to go out and share, continue to share on passive, bringing millions or that is a dream, hundreds of thousands of people in my ecosystem. And if I can bring in a thousand new registration in my ecosystem and a hundred of those people became my customer, then at that time I meet my goal, right? And if on passive, is offering a traffic package at that time, I will spend partial of what I made and put it back into the system, means on passive ecosystem, and let the ecosystem making money for me by purchasing more traffic, working with customers and all of that, right? So, the way how we plan moving forward, it's very important because if we don't plan, let's just say that's, I mean, like I'm very attempted. You know what? The car that I like to purchase is a G-Wagon Royal Blue, brand new, full loaded, right? That vehicle, well, it's $200,000. And if I'm not planning carefully, right? I will end it up, don't have the money to pay for it because I didn't plan carefully, right? So 
I believe that all of us, whether or not we have big team, small team, medium team, when we make that money for the first withdrawal, we got a plan. We got a plan. How do I do this? What do I know? Is the the item that I want to do, the, the, the traveling and the purchasing this and purchasing this, can I delay this? Focus on my business and build that business first before I go have fun. Right. And this is just something that comes out from my heart. I share mm. with you because I did. I thought, oh my gosh, can't wait to own that car, to buy that mm. car. Because I do need a new car. I mean, I have a Lexus, which is very good, decent, still working fine. But you know, when you start seeing, you start dreaming. I, I won't change who I am, but that I want to have, right? Mm -hmm. I want to purchase that car, right? And I, I, I can't do $200,000 right away. I can't pay cash. And if I was to, you know, put a down payment, my payment every month, probably about two, 3000 a month. I can't afford it. If I just draw money out and just go and put, put it in the car, I can do that. Right. So planning. And I did, I attempted to think, oh my gosh, I, this really nice. I won't let any of that veer me from the goal of going forward to focus on building the business. Right? It could take six months. It could take a year. Mm. Right. And so mm. those are the things that I thought of. And I'm, um, you know, I wanted to share because a lot of the things, not from our group here, but I see, you know, people putting car, people putting house, because everybody's wishing and having dreams to do that. But please plan carefully, right? Mm -hmm. The number that we see today of whatever we are earning is the smallest number, but always, always prepare for, you know, for a raining day. Yeah. So Julie and uh, Dr. Bill, I think many of us here have no idea how to withdraw uh, the money in the wallet. I know some of you in the U.S. are doing it, but uh, do we need a K to, to kind of do a KYC with our bank first before we withdraw? Are people withdrawing money already? Um, Nobody yet. N nobody yet. Um, that is absolutely correct. So what happened is if you if you have uh, requested for withdraw months ago, let's start from that point. Okay, if, if you have requested withdraw for months ago, and since the day that you request till now, you probably earning more money, or your banking change or your cryptocurrency wallet change, what you want to do is you want to go to O founders, open a ticket, um and request for a cancellation okay um, only if you if you, if if the day that you withdraw till now exactly the same right then you can keep it that way but i'd suggest just cancel right so go to o founders give them your oes id your um o mail your gmail everything that you need okay and the transaction that you request that is still in pending the transaction number okay and request them to cancel mm -hmm. okay and yeah. i have heard people have done that and within 24 hours their request or their pending whatever um uh, receive an update of canceled so if you want to do that you can do that now, talking about the withdrawal, right now, no verify, no KYC yet. N none of that has been talked about yet. But there, once you cancel that completely, then you can go in and click withdraw and follow that instruction. Uh, oh. Yesterday, Mr. Mufara said that um, it's when it's roll out, we don't know when, but we said when it roll out or the next phase, whatever, um, you, you, you can actually request it now and then whenever it's ready to roll out, it rolled out, but you can also, you can request it to deposit in your bank or crypto. Both can happen. Okay. So does that make sense? Dr. Benny? 
you, I know you had a question and you interacting as I was. Mm, yes, it, it does. I just wanted to ask a question if it's okay. Yes, please. Um, first, I want to thank you, uh, Sister Julie, for coming here, uh, for impacting knowledge into us. Um, we, we need more of you if you have the time to come back. Uh, we will appreciate it. Uh, anyway, I, I know you, you made a statement that, let's say if we have some money to, to help individuals like those who have, uh, those who paid uh, their, their 102, and in order to help them with their activation fee, do you think someone can help them but get the money back when they start receiving money? Um, it's between you and the person that you help, right? Yeah, it's real. It has nothing to do with on passive. It just, it's let let's just say that you are giving, you know, you want to help somebody in 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 your family, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 it's an arrangement between you and that individual. It's just one of my suggestions, you know, or, mm -hmm. you know, well that that that's something I would do, like for example, if there is someone here in my own town that you know, that uh, I wanted to help and I will pay for the activation and it's between me and that person to arrange for that person to give me back the money. It has nothing to do with on passive. We, as of this point, we can't do that in our wallet. So it's, mm -hmm. it's really depend on how you, okay. you know, if you, okay. yeah, it's, it's really depend on how, how you want to set it up and how you, you know, I, I, it's really depend on you how you do it. It's just a an idea and a, a suggestion that I will probably do that because once once I once I receive my earning, you know, if there's somebody here that I'm working with that needed some help, I would say, hey, let me help you. You know, you can give it to, back to me when when you have the money because I already have it. You know, so it's really depend on how you um, you arrange with that person. All right. My real question is, uh, you know that there are some people who have not, uh, they have not signed the real NDA, you know, NDA from go founder to all founder, because when you move from all founder now to the ecosystem, it is the NDCA. But there are people who have not signed the real NDA from the beginning. So do you think that if they skip signing that NDA and then they sign the NDCA, do you and they paid their activation fee? Do you think that they will um let me just say the artificial intelligence somehow will if and only artificial intelligence is the one that is sending uh customers to to us, do you think that they will send it if you don't sign that NDA? Just asking. No, um thank you. If I understood your question, um, yeah. that person has not signed the NDA in O founders or Go yeah. founders, yeah. and yeah. now they're in the ecosystem. So, uh, whatever happened in O founders, O founders right now is a place for us to see updates and see webinars and all that. Whatever happened before ecosystem is no longer applied. So whether or not you signed or you not signed, I don't think it does any effect to your account. Uh, but O Founders is where we encouraging people to do um, by becoming an affiliate by signing the NDA, right? There's no NDA on, you, you know how Mr. Ash Mufara said, oh, we're going to have to sign NDA for each of those products. That time it's not there. That's time it's not here yet. Oh, okay. So right now, the only NDA that we have is to become an affiliate and sign the NDA. That's it. Oh. Whatever in ecosystem, it's important. O founder, oh. it's the past. Oh, okay. Okay. That was my concern. Thank you so much. I appreciate yes, you. Yes. Thank you. Good to see you. Mm. Good to see you too.
Great. Any more questions or comments? Or uh, anyone want to share? Julia, I'd like to ask the question. Um, yes. Um, Mr. Mufara said, um, and I need to paraphrase because I can't remember his exact words. He said that if he has said something and he doesn't come out publicly to change what he said, then whatever he said is going to happen. It's going to happen the way he said it. Now, I have a, a question with regards the cutoff date. He said that the cutoff date is going to be on the 16th. Now, he's never come out to say it's not going, it was not the 16th, it's actually going on to the 31st. However, on the 16th, on the 16th, after midnight for about two and a half hours, the system stopped taking money. You could put all the details of your card and it would not and it, it, it let you fill it out but but it would not it was not taking the money then two hours later it started taking the money and that has continued does that mean and my question is does that mean that the 16th was and actually is the cutoff date and that what he what he what has happened is going on to the 31st is that the people who are, who are he's extended up to the 31st we can still get our bonuses there but at the 16th he actually cut off the the the, the date um that was the cutoff date for sharing of customers that are in the holding tank um victor did you hear what i say earlier about this uh, particular questions that you have um so let me say this again the 16th of january doesn't mean anything okay it has it's not a cutoff he never said anything about cutoff and i know there's leaders and people doing live and talk about oh the i mean like it's crazy it drives me nuts mr ash mofaris did not say anything about the cutoff okay just one more time um what he said is supposedly he planned to have on passive a uh, rollout you know customers to the founders the end of december but that was not ready to do so then it goes until january 31st and then he said why wait till january 31st why do do it on the 16th but he never said oh no one can make can uh, uh, it, uh, there's a deadline he never said anything about the deadline right so to let everyone understand the on passive founder position doesn't end until September 2024. Okay? Now, you have until September to 20 uh, September 2024 to activate your account. You can still do that if you choose to do that. However, from now till then, if on passive rolling out customer, customer purchase, you've earned commission, you can you don't have that. You don't get to receive all the perks, right? Therefore, it is important for us to activate our account as soon as possible based on the ability based on our own ability if you can activate it it encourage suggest that you should activate but no pressure right so that's what he said and everything okay let me say this every decisions everything that mr ash mufara said has its reason and what he said is also very carefully on what he's saying because he knows that the regulators are listening and he got to make sure and he got advice 
from the team, the legal team, and what he can say. And so to me, I know, I trust, and I believe everything what Mr. Ash is saying. And so, Victor, there's no deadline. And if you have a glitch on making payment, make sure that money has not withdrawn from the bank and come back and do it again. Okay? Okay. Does that does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, make, it, right. it makes sense. To, uh, awesome. So we've been here over three hours. I see the clock. <laughs> I would like to say one more thing that is so important, and I can only say it uh, to the people in the U.S. I'm not sure how the banking and all that's happening in other countries. Okay, so I only like to share with you if you are in the U.S., it may be the same. Okay. So it's regarding to the payment, and it is very important, okay? You can help this if you're doing, if, if you see that whatever I'm sharing with you apply to you. When you are making a payment to a product in o, on Passive, now remember what we are doing right now in our own payment processing, it's still a test. It's still a very stage. So we could run into failures, right? When you are making with your payment with your credit card and your credit card or the system failed you, please do not go back in right away and make payment one more time, right? Wait. Wait for a day or so because you have the evidence that you are making payment already, but it failed. So wait, and especially if you make payment on the weekend in, in the U.S., on the weekend, bank doesn't process payment, right? So wait until the weekday and see that payment has never withdrawn from my bank. Or better yet, call the bank up and said, I make payment for this company and it failed. Please don't let it go through. Or saying, this is a good company and I trust them and I'm intended to make payment. Please let it go through. Okay. And the bank said, oh, we don't see anything like that out there yet. Right. So then give the instruction to the bank. I'm gonna make payment and it's only one time. Please only let one payment from this merchant go through, right? You communicate with that. So now if you have make payment to the product and it failed, it failed the first time, it failed the second time, it the third time you like, oh, you call the bank up, and the bank said, oh, this is uh, something that we need you to approve. And, the bank, and then you give the bank instruction to say approve it, but only approve it once, right? Because it failed three times with the same merchant. And when you said, I want to approve it, it will approve all three payments together. Mm. Right. So just communicating with your bank and said, I've only wanted to have one payment go through the other one. Just let it go. Let it go. I don't want that to be a communicating with your bank. Now, let's say if you didn't know that mm. and you make payment and all three payment went through. All three payment went through and it all went through fine. And when you are going back to your wallet, you're going to see some money showing up in the funding. Mm. That means your money is already in your wallet. Please don't call the bank and complain. Please don't mm. call the bank and say, oh, I was overcharged three times. No, OnPassive doesn't do that. OnPassive doesn't save our credit card. OnPassive doesn't charge us extra. We allowed that to go through therefore if you are seeing that money in your bank it's you who are allow it to happen please don't call the bank right 
Because when you are called the Bing and you are complaining about why I didn't let the account, at that time, you request for the refund coming back. At that time, on passive, get charged for a a a a um a discharge or whatever that fee is, and it costs you. It costs on passive each of those time four hundred dollars. And so if you see that money go in and, and, and you see that in the wallet, but the status still fail, you call me, right? And allow me to lock in your account and I will suggest what to do. Please, I'm asking you, I've seen so many people out there see the money fail and then lost up the money is out of their bank but they don't know about the wallet of on passive and they're like freaking out oh they're trying to call the bank and they discharge it at that time on passive has to deal with it and i'll share with you this last thing when i was involved in another company that i was a person that doing all the processing of credit card I didn't know that. I let it go through. You know what happened? I almost shut down their merchant. And because of that experience, I learned when it comes to how the banking processing, right? So I ask you, please let somebody, myself, and because I believe I know what I'm talking about, Take a look at your account and answering some of the questions that I'm asking you. And then at that time, we could decide to either go to support and I will go to support before I advise you to call your bank because I will do whatever it takes to eliminate the charges and the trouble that on passive has to go through. Mm -hmm. So everyone thank you so much i have a lot to share and i think this is enough for today mm. i do hope that whatever that you receive today will help whatever you're dealing with <laughs> so thank you well thank you julie thank you so much for coming to help us grace us and uh if not we will close and as usual is uh Jeannie, I would like you to close. But before that, Dr. Bill, would you like to, if you are still around, would you like to say something to help us close tonight? Uh, yeah, in the famous words of our pastor, amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Thank you. It's been a you good know? night. Thank you all for yeah. the wonderful words of wisdom and truth. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of good sharing tonight. Thank you all. That's enough yeah, for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And if thank you don't you. understand what I said today, please address those questions to me. Yes. Um, and I would love to, you know, have a chat with you because um, it's important for me that you are understood what is mm. being said. Thank mm. you. Good day. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Sister Julie, for sharing with us. And uh, we have got so much clarity from here. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. It's very, very clear. And if we have any more questions coming from the floor, they can always address to Mabel or to me, and we will send it to you, Sister Julie. And thank you for offering to help us further. Yeah. Thank you so much. Au revoir, Jean. We have a French speaker here, so I'm just saying goodbye. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Bye, John. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. everyone. Thank you, Dr. Bill. See you all and, next uh, week. Bye. Yeah. Debbie. God bless everyone. Thank you, John. Bye, yeah. everyone. Bye, See you next Debbie. week. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Debbie. everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.